All right, guys. So this is an unboxing video of MSI B450M Pro M2 V2 motherboard. So this is one of the more recent ones. So after V2, I think they have got uh, V2 Max now. So this is the micro ATX um, full featured board. So if you want to use a single graphics card, this is what you can actually use. Uh, I am not seeing any major benefit by going with with uh, uh, B350 or a B, uh, sorry, a 470X motherboard um, or a full ATX version of this board. This micro ATX seems okay because it does support overclock, overclocking as well as uh, it has got a couple of memory slots. So you can have up to 32 GB of RAM. So I think beyond that might be a problem, but at least 16 to 32 GB should not be an issue. And um, Yep, so I think for a normal user, uh, having up to 32 GB of RAM with decent overclocking support and single GPU solution. I don't think uh, uh, AMD boards are designed for, um, you know, to properly utilize dual GPU or SLI or Crossfire based solutions because these um, uh, boards, basically the processors have a bottleneck. They finally have got uh, PCIe X 3.0 implemented with all 16 lanes uh, in at least one PCI slot. But if you use both the PCI slot, PCIe X slots, um, then of course you will be reducing the bandwidth, uh, total bandwidth available. It may not make any difference as such in terms of performance. It may hardly make any difference, but still, yeah, the, the bandwidth available uh, to a graphics card will get reduced if you use uh, multi GPU solution. So I prefer it this way. You actually use a high-end GPU with these boards because they support all the highest end uh, uh, Radeon processors without any issue. So I think this is not a bad way uh, to do it. So this is how you actually get the MSI sticker. You know, this is a seal which you can actually validate if you have received the box with seal. You may not receive the box with seal, uh, so uh, especially when you are buying online, so you can actually check it. So it may not make much difference uh, if the board is in brand new condition, but yeah, so you can actually check it. So I am unboxing it, cleanly cutting it, all right, so I have remove the seal let's see what's inside okay so you i don't think you have any kind of accessories unless they are inside one of these boxes maybe here you may have something yeah okay of course io shield is definitely needed so this is the io shield i will not use it right now because i'll have to first review the unit before deciding whether i'm keeping it or not and you get, uh, oops, I don't know why this happens. All right, sorry for that glitch. So my gimbal sometimes start acting up. Okay, so you get, uh, I think, two SATA cable. One is an angled one, and the other one is a regular one. And you have got some kind of shielding also, at least on the regular one, and the angled one also. So this is something you knew. You have got shielded SATA, SATA connection cables. I have never seen them. Please comment guys if you have seen these kind of cables. This is the first time I am seeing it. Okay. So both these uh, SATA cables have some kind of shielding like a CAT6 shielded twisted pair cables. So something new. Maybe a requirement for SATA 3 connections. Although I have never seen any issues uh, connecting any SATA 3 SSDs getting full bandwidth for it. So you have one sticker here. It's a regular one, not a MSI branded one. 
so I'm cleanly taking it off okay I can actually use these uh, boards inside uh, So this is the face physical layout of the board. So I can use these uh, boards inside a uh, custom built PCs. So quickly going through the ports, you get two PS2 ports for mouse and keyboard, which is good. You can connect a uh, legacy mouse and keyboard. You don't actually need a USB mouse or keyboard. I don't know why they actually use it. Uh, unless uh, you are using some high resolution mouse or something for keyboard, I don't think it's needed. You've got three display ports. These will work only if you're using a graphics enabled um, processors, which I don't really recommend because it actually restricts the uh, the number of lanes available to the PCI X, X16 uh, slot. So it's better to use a normal uh, board. Uh, quickly, the board uh, model number is listed here, B450M Pro M2V2 which I think is the right one. Yep. And I see something beneath. So this is a different kind of packaging. Normally all these things uh, of other boards which I have unboxed, which is quite some time now, they used to have uh, different ones. Uh, basically they have the CDs and all the accessories scattered on top. Now uh, this is new. You have got a DVD, which I don't think I'll be requiring but you get some kind of logo maybe this is some msi logo for gamers like asus rog i have basically used asus boards only and some quick install guide so i i don't think you have a manual or something use a manual or something you just have a quick install guide How to install processor, RAM, and uh, the front panel connectors. It does not have uh, the ASUS Q something, Q connects or something. Um, yep. So, all the regular stuff, which I don't need to know because I already know. This is important. Ayushil, you install this before installing the motherboard into a cabinet. Now, coming back to the board, you have got a basic heat sink for the south bridge, no north bridge because north bridge is integrated into the processor itself. Physical inspection, I don't see any physical damage or defect, defect anywhere I'll be coming to know later. But yeah, physical damages, I am not seeing oops again i don't know why this happens all right once again apologies for the glitch let me try a flash on no okay so what do we have here we have the am4 socket with its proprietary heatsink latches i'll be testing it with uh, a corsair water cooling basic entry level water cooling solution as well as um, air cooling uh, solution on um, 2600 uh, ryzen 5 cpu so of course that uh, cpu do, do not have any um, you know uh, support for uh, What do you say? Support for graphics cards. Oops, sorry for out of for being out of focus. So you have the batteries, and you have all the basic steps: two RAM slots, four SATA ports, uh, something easy debug LED. I think you have got four LEDs here. This is something interesting. Let me focus here. Yeah. So what do we have here? You have boot VGA DRAM CPU. That's what it says. Very tiny. 
So if there is any boot issue, the first LED will glow. If there is any problem with PGA card, second one. So I think these are diagnostic LEDs. So instead of beep codes, it will say what could be the problem. If there is any problem with the processor, it will light up the CPU one. DRAM, light up with RAM one. Graphics card, will light up that one. And some problem booting up, some post errors other than these, it will say boot.